Kind of the ultimate test tonight of the team's model this year? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's another test. Um, we went through a lot of tests this year. I think um, it's kind of the ultimate being in the position that we're in. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity, um, you know, for a lot of guys and for our team and coaches and staff. John, uh, as he's done in the past, did Draymond say anything to the team? No, um, hasn't really talked, you know, spoke with the team. Uh, again, it's tough, you know, he's in a different position now. Usually, you know, he uh, he's able to be vocal and then go out and set the example. And now, you know, with him not playing, it's kind of, you know, he's speaking from a different position. So, you know, Steve, Steve has been great, you know, just kind of feeding us what we need, um, you know, and we shouldn't need, I don't think we should need any extra motivation tonight. What has anyone Steve said? Um, everybody stay ready. Everybody. You know, we don't know what kind of lineups are going to be out there. We don't know what buttons that he, he's going to be able to push. Um, you know, so it depends on the matchups and, you know, probably the flow of the game. Um, but it's up to everybody, you know, who's dressed up to be ready. You talked about Draymond being vocal. Does anyone else need to be, sort of fill that role, be a little more vocal than they would be now? No, I think it's really just a cohesion thing, you know, throughout. Uh, the whole team. Um, I think we rely on our chemistry. We rely on each other. We play for each other. And, um, you know, again, one guy is not going to just make up what Draymond brings to the team. It's all the little things he does, you know, that wins championships. And uh, we need to be able to do that as a team. How do you narrow your focus as a team? How do you avoid looking at the big picture, the possibility of winning championships on your home Focusing on the details, the game plan. You know, when you're locked in on the game plan and what you need to be doing right there, staying in the moment, uh, it's hard to do, but uh, it takes, you know, mental composure, um, being able to, you know, lock in on the game plan, the strategy, uh, and the execution. So given what Draymond provides defensively, how do you begin to replace that? Again, it's it's you know it's gonna sound like a broken record, but it's through five guys. It's not through one guy. Again, he does so much out there. He covers so many holes and mistakes for us. That's why he's you know who he is, um, an all star. And it's uh, again, it, we're gonna have to rely on you know our whole team. Um, it, it really is the, the cliche, the strength in numbers because you know. I mean, he covers the rim, he covers the perimeter, he switches, he pushes the ball. There's so many different things. He's so versatile, probably one of the most versatile players in the league. So, you know, it, again, it's, it's five guys that's out in the court. It's the bench coming in, being ready, you know, providing an extra boost, uh, energy, you know, relying on our home crowd, all the little things, uh, you know, to try to fill the void where we can. Do you expect personally to play more than usual tonight? Um, I think maybe get a few more minutes. Uh, you know, Andre, obviously. Um, you know, it just all depends on the matchups and kind of the flow of the game and, you know, seeing, you know, who's out there. Yeah, Sean, the assumption of everybody was that he would, he's close to the line, but he's not going to cross the line in terms of points or in terms of the technicals or that sort of thing. How, what's, how disappointed is it, are, are you, that he couldn't stay over, stay over the line? Yeah, we're all disappointed, you know, for the fact that he's not out there, you know. Um, I mean, if he got the flagrant foul and it wasn't wasn't a suspension, I don't think we'd be as disappointed, you know. But we're all disappointed because we want him to be out there. That's it's coming from a good place. So for us, you know, I mean, it's nothing we can really do about it. Um, I think it's the other flagrants that kind of came back to bite him. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, Draymond's mom said that we were riding with you. Uh on social media, why do you think she bent you? Why do you think? Uh, why do you think she said that? She said what? That we're riding, we're riding with you on Twitter. Oh, like with me personally? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. You were singled out. Oh, well, shout out Draymond's mom. <laughs> <laughs> what a shout out. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm riding for the team, and I think, I think she probably knows where my heart is. You know, um, I play with heart too, and you know, I may not be as loud or as vocal, but. I mean, I think she understands that my intentions are to win by any means necessary. So. Sean, you were asked earlier about how you sort of stay focused on the details with this opportunity in front of you. Is it different at home? I mean, last year your chance to clinch, which you converted, was obviously in Cleveland. How much is it different does it feel being home with this opportunity? It's a new opportunity for us uh, because of what we did last year, um, you know, being on the road and winning. So 
you know, again, all of those things are kind of distractions, you know. Um, uh, you know, it would be great to win on our home court, but the bottom line is we have to focus on playing the game and playing, you know, executing the details. What do you think the crowd will be like tonight? It's going to be loud. I mean, you know, if it's any indication of, you know, kind of what game seven was, okay, see, uh, you know, it's going to be loud. How much has, has this postseason prepared you for this moment? I mean, you've been called upon in so many different cases to, to step in and, and fill in and do your thing. Yeah, um, adversity builds character. And I think, you know, when you have high character and you've been tested, um, you know, you feel confident about getting through it. Last question. Sean, you defended a LeBron one-on-one -on -one in okay, this game. Do you expect it to come a bit more in the upcoming game? Yeah, well, I mean, we'll all have a crack at him. You know, I mean, we've been switching the whole series. So, you know, we'll all have a shot to defend him. Great, thank you. Thank you.